food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button this video is how I kept my orange bell pepper plant alive during the September 8 2020 freeze officially Denver Metro experienced its earliest freeze on record September 8th which was a record cold temperature and a rare September snow this was a 60 degree drop in the city's high temperature from 101 degrees on Saturday to 37 degrees in 24 hours. I was not about to let all of these beautiful bell peppers freeze. And I know that I had to get as many harvested first, then try to protect the rest of the bell peppers that were actually getting ready to turn yellow. And I had beautiful green bell peppers still on the vine. During the day, my bell pepper plants and soil absorbed and stored heat from the sun and then the warm air. So as you can see, we had a 101 degree temperature on Saturday, 97 degree temperature on Sunday, and a big 60 degree drop on Monday. Therefore, in order for me to trap all that heat in, late Monday, I double wrapped the plant and container with a commercial grade blanket. The commercial grade blankets are better because they can trap enough heat to keep your plant 68 degrees warmer. And this provided enough insulation to keep the plant protected for four days. And as a result, you can see that this is my bell pepper plant four days later. So for those living in northern climates and you get these freaks, um, extreme temperatures, especially with all of the climate changes, there are successful ways of extending your growing season and that's something I became extremely um, well versed in because I live in a climate that has extreme temperatures. Often we refer to our temperatures as being on steroids. So I've learned how to deal with these unexpected extreme temperatures. So let me start harvesting my bell peppers and I'm just excited that there was success in being able to continue growing my bell peppers way into the end of the summer and hopefully into the fall weather. This is my second harvest for my orange bell peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and start harvesting my orange bell pepper plants. So there's one there. Here's another one. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off. Okay, now you can see that these are turning. And then I have one right here that I'm gonna go ahead and harvest. And then I have one back here. I have one back here that's actually starting to turn. Now, when I get these little bell peppers like this, I'm gonna take them off because I don't want all the energy going into this one. I want the energy going into the peppers that are growing really big like this one. And that's trying to turn yellow. Colorado has erratic climate and next Tuesday and Wednesday they're talking about temperatures getting down as low as 38 degrees but I have successfully learned how to extend my uh, growing season so I will be putting a frost blanket over these plants because temperatures are going to go back up into the 80s on Thursday and Friday with temperatures um, in the high 50s. So I do want to try to stimulate 
more the energy going to the peppers that are growing and turning. Uh, my tips for growing um, the orange and yellow and red bell peppers is make sure you buy the bell pepper seeds true to the color of the bell peppers. And as I noted earlier in the video, when you see a cluster of green peppers as I had, those are considered immature bell peppers, but you could still use them. And I went on and harvest them. And so then the second and third batch of bell peppers, I was able to leave them on longer until they turned orange. So here is my second harvest of orange bell peppers and they are remarkably sweet. I literally just eat them plain and don't even put them in the salad. So just wanted to give you an update on my orange bell peppers and harvesting them. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.